right, this is a genuine body scooter and it has been sitting for quite a few years and uh, we just recently got it running, but now I notice that the front brake is not working. Like, it's just dead like that. So the front brake is not working. That is just dead. It has the rear drum brake, but it does not have the front brake. All right, so the scooter in the back has a drum brake in the back. The drum brake is working just fine. On the front, On the front, it has disc brakes. So this is a 2007, like, genuine buddy scooter. It sat for many years, and the brake fluid had corroded the brake caliper, and it actually had destroyed the seals, and it was leaking out of there. So we are going to put a new caliper on. We just bought it. All the parts come included. It comes with new pads. It's pretty much... Um, an all-in-one, you just have to put it on. Yeah, you gotta get down here. So, yeah. You do not have to remove the wheel to put this on. It actually does slide on the rotor. Uh, and these bolts do have like a thread locker already on them so because you want to make sure you obviously have those tights so you can stab This type of brake line is called a has a banjo fitting. You can probably see why that's called a banjo fitting right there. Oh, it comes with a crush washer, so you always want to put your crush washer on there. All right, so when I first came up to the bike, I had no idea where the master cylinder was because it's completely covered over here, as you can see. And then I could tell from this little indent or this little kick out right here that it must be under there. So this whole thing has to come off. And so first I took off the light ring, which is held on by a screw. And then under here, there was a screw there there was the same screw on another side. And then the rest of it was just held in by little plastic clips. So once I pulled it away though, I did have to disconnect the speedometer because I wasn't able to pull it away far enough. And that just threads on. So yeah, to disconnect this, it's just a threaded fitting. This literally threads onto this. There's a little square drive. It's kind of a wire, but it's a, it's a, in the shape of a square. So just when you do put it back together, make sure you get it on there correctly. Now we have to bleed them. So this caliper has a bleeder, just like on a car. So you want to loosen that. And then you're going to be adding brake fluid up here.
Yeah, it probably is, is a good idea that you got that better <laughs> caliper. Yeah. So, all right. So, what size do the dies? Probably a size I didn't bring. It's not a 10. Nope. squeeze the brake about five times and then I'm gonna open this leader and you'll feel like the pressure go down okay tell me when you're gonna squeeze it like five times and hold it right now yep you holding it one two three four five and hold it hold. I'll keep going I don't even see any fluid yet I'm still holding it just keep pumping it oh keep pumping it yeah okay So you can see those bubbles coming out, meaning that there's air in the system still. So where is it going? Well, it's coming out right now. So we're just gonna keep squeezing this till we don't see anymore. Normally you would bend, on a car, you would bench bleed this. You would take it like out of the car, but like I said, I'm not a scooter expert. Cause there's a piston inside of there traveling back and forth. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna keep doing this until we don't see any more air coming out right there. So yeah, all I'm doing is, when she's holding it, I'm just loosening that. And when I loosen that, like fluid is coming out of it. Okay, let me know. So, all right, go ahead, go to 10 and then hold. One, two. Oh, yeah, this feels. Oh, good. it's feeling a lot better, mm -hmm. that's good. That's good. See, that's that when it was soft, it's because there was air in there because you can't compress air. Are you holding? Yep. Uh, fixed the caliper. So now we're just going to go ahead and reassemble this hot part. 